Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Residence Properties List widget for Elementor. We showcase this widget in our demos. You can see it in the homepage version 2 from main demo. This is the one. You can create a list with filters. In this video you will learn how to add this widget and how to set this widget to show the properties that you want on front end. On this page I have already prepared the section where where the widget will be added. It will be added here and the first step will be to edit the page with Elementor. I will scroll down to the section that I just made. For the VP Residence Properties List with Filters widget you will have more than one versions. I will show. You will see that you will have seven versions of this widget. You will notice a difference between the settings for the VP Residence Properties List with Filter and the other widgets and on front end the only difference for the widget will be the property card design. I will start with explaining how the VP Residence properties list with filter needs to be set up. I will add the widget in the page with drag and drop. In content section you will be able to filter the properties shown in this section by category. Here you will be able to select a category. If a category will be selected, then only the properties from this category will be shown in the list. This applies for all property categories, for action, city, areas and county and states. Next you will have the option to set the number of items that will be displayed in the list. Currently you have 9 but you can set it to 6 or to 3. This widget will have pagination and the rest of the properties will be seen on the other pages. I will change it back to 9. In the next option you will be able to set the number of items per row. You will be able to display 4 units per row or 3. For the next option you will be able to change the units alignments. You will have the option to choose between vertical or horizontal. Next you will have show featured listings only. This option can be used to display only featured properties or display all properties. If no will be selected then both featured and regular properties will be displayed in the list. If yes will be selected then only the featured properties will be displayed in the list. I will change it back to no. And for the last option you will have the sort by option and you will be able to set the order of the properties in the list by price, by publish date, by bedroom number, bathroom number or by edit date. These are the settings available for this widget. I will update the changes made and now on home page I will have the list of properties with filters. I will go back in the editor page and I will show the other versions of this widget. I will delete this one. I will look again for the widget. This is properties list with filter version 1. You will have the same options for the content section. For this version you will have show hide data section. In this section you will be able to show or hide elements from the property card. For example you will be able to hide the favorite button featured label and hide other elements that you do not want to show in the property card. Here you will also have a style section where you will be able to change the typography for the card elements. You will be able to change typography for title, address, property info text, price, price label, property description, property details and agent. Also you will be able to change the spaces and sizes for the units. You will be able to change box shadow settings and change colors for each unit element. These are the settings available for the properties list with filter version 1. You will have the same settings for the other versions as well. The only difference will be the car design on front end. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.